Even Solz here with Solz Sports. We have two guests on for an interview. We have Etowatu Rosali, who has played for the NLR for the Parramatta Eels from 2009 to 2011. And then in 2005 15, he signed a two year deal with Bradford Bulls. And now this year he's playing for Orby Funder. And our second interview is a new Orby Funder coach, Tuki Jackson, who is replacing Penn Jeffrey this year. Previously, he played in Group 20 for the Yanko Yamun Hawks and he also played rep for the Riverina. But first up is our interview with Etowatu Rizal. Thanks for joining me. How have you liked Aubrey so far? It's been good, mate. I've uh, been here for two and, two and a half weeks, so enjoying it, enjoying the river. Enjoying the people here, I've seen them, they are uh, pretty uh, friendly and that, so it's good. For, fortunately for Aubrey, there's no sharks in the mouth. Oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was hoping the sharks were so I could go catch them. Uh, they tell you that the Tommy Water is coming. It's Aubrey. Oh. Yeah, I'm try to catch them. Well, what's out for that, folks? Now, with the first proper question. You played for Parramatta in the NRL. How was that and what were some of the well-known NRL players that you have met there in your time there? Um, I was pretty good coming through the system there. Played, some, uh, played with some of the greatest uh, players in the game. Um, uh, it, was a, it was a pretty good uh, experience. Now question number two. After you finished playing for Parramatta in the NRL, you moved overseas to play for Bradford Bulls in the Super League. What was that like and how do you compare your experiences in the Super League compared to the NRL and what was the difference between the two comps? Um, I, I think it's, it's pretty, uh, it's not a too, too much difference. Um, I think it's just quick here, um, skill is pretty good. Over there is um, a bit you know, up front, pretty tough, the way they play here. So they're both tough and uh, competitive, so yeah. Not too much different. Okay, question three. What made you come up with the idea of doing your um, Eduardo report in life? That was just a, a video I was just doing when I was in England, uh, trying to keep in touch with uh, families here in the, um, New Zealand and in Australia. So I was sort of like, where would I go? I was sort of like uh, just showing everyone, my family and friends, where we at, and what we're doing over there in England. So I just carried it on. Okay, number four. Now that you're in the final, what things are you looking forward to this season and what do you expect from the good ball competition? Uh, I've just heard, you know, I've heard it's, it's a pretty tough comp. Um, it, it's, it's something uh, different for me uh, to play, but um, I expect it. Pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, competition and um, a good game. Well, that was NY to USI. Up next is the final coach, Jockey Jackson. Welcome back, this is Sultsy Sports. We have Tuki Jackson here to answer a couple of questions. Uh, question one, you're the new coach and you came from Group 20. What is it like playing in the Group 20 comp? Yeah, Group 20 is not too bad. Um, it has its ups and downs. Strong comp, but I reckon it wouldn't be as fast as Group 9, even though I haven't played in Group 9 yet. But I'm um, looking forward to strapping up for Aubrey and uh, taking on 2017. Okay, question number two. Uh, skip question two. Number three. You also played for Riverina, who is coached by Josh Kale, where you played with some of the fun to star players like Huggy, Dave Cowan, and the Big Sefa. What is it like playing for Riverina and playing beside those big name players? Uh, it's always it's always good to um, make rep sides. You, you meet a lot of new faces and um, you get to make more friends, lifelong friends. Um, it's good playing up against or playing with blokes like um, Huggy and Dave and all that. Um, yeah, no, it's it's awesome and it's can't wait to play with them through the season this year. Okay, number four, which is going to be the last question because I don't want to ask question five. <laughs> uh, with your role as Obi Funder first grade coach, what do you expect for this year on and off the field? Uh, well, at the moment, I'm not expecting too much. So I'm going to take each week as it comes. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. I just hope 2017, what's installed for me is good. 
I'll just go from there. Thank you for um, uh, thank you for answering these questions. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed that. Now to a quick report with Fund President Mick O'Connell. Question one: What are some of the things you were expecting for this season on and off the field? Well, hopefully our teams perform well throughout the season. We, we believe that we've got good depth and numbers in each of our uh, our teams. That includes first the senior teams, first reserve grade, league tag, 18, 16s, and we'd love to grow the disability team and um, see if we can get some challenges from some of the other Group Nine clubs, or at least invite their players to come here and have a game with us. Cool. And number two is. You have new players coming from different playing experiences. How do you think this will help the playing group? Oh, obviously, we've got guys that have played at very high level and we, we hope that they pass their experience on to um, our local players and our juniors um, to improve their individual play and their team play. And it's all very exciting for us, actually. Wow. Well, thanks for your time, Rick. While that is all for the time we have for this edition of Salty Sports, don't forget to comment and like and subscribe to Salty Sports, your destination for all the fun that Until next time, good luck and good luck.